Imagine this. You can even close your eyes because I want you to imagine this special person. Imagine you have a friend and that friend is super smart. They are like Google on, on two legs, okay? And this friend knows, and I'm saying everything. That person knows everything about the planets and the stars and the universe. And that friend also knows everything that's going on in the sea, in the ocean. That person knows every fish. They know what every fish looks like inside. Okay, they know everything. And they also know everything about what's going on in your body and in the field with the flowers and the trees. And they also know what is going on in your head and in your heart. There is someone like that. And that person is the Holy Spirit. He is not a thing. He is a person. And the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Almighty God. And He is the power at work in you. He is also a teacher. He will teach you everything that you want to know. There is nothing that the Holy Spirit cannot teach you because He is the Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit is also your helper. Whether you are in class or you are on a sport field or at home baking something, the Holy Spirit is your helper and He wants to help you. It's not a challenge for Him to help you. He is also a guide. Remember, have you ever seen um, some a group that's walking in a field like between the rhinos or the wild animals and they have a guide? The guide always tells them and warns them and they walk with the guide, okay? They're not behind or running in front because maybe someone something wants to eat them. No, they walk with the guide, so it's a guide. And then he's a protector. How is he a protector? If you listen to him, you will always be at the right place at the right time. Let's see in the Bible, where the Bible describes a situation where people receive the Holy Spirit by choice. We read in Acts 2 verse 1 to 4. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Okay, so you can imagine there was a lot of people in, the, in, the, in a room on Pentecost. Suddenly, a sound like the, like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. My goodness! 
so they heard something it sounded like a wind maybe it felt like a wind I don't know but there was a sound of a wind that came into that uh, to that house they saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them so it was like a it looked like a flame or something on top of them and all of them oh and all of them there wasn't one that was left out all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them that's very important the Spirit enabled them so did you did you hear that they all received the Holy Spirit not one person was left out friend life is full of choices a person chooses to get born again or to not get born again but if you choose to get born again then you become a child of God and then after that you you can again choose to receive the Holy Spirit to come and live in you so it's a choice but you have to act on it so when you get born again I don't know if you if you are born again you will remember that you did a prayer of salvation so you spoke that into being you chose I want to get born again you, you said a prayer so you spoke the words and then you received that life into you now after that you can choose I want to receive the Holy Spirit and you make you do a prayer again you speak the words and then you receive the Holy Spirit and at the end of the session I will lead you in that prayer you will remember now that when I read that scripture of the people that gathered in that house they received the Holy Spirit and that there was that little flame like a fire showing above the heads and then the scripture explained that all of them prayed in tongues that's amazing praying in tongues is like a sign that you received the Holy Spirit and you know what it is it's actually very awesome it is communication between you and your Heavenly Father Papa God and it is a perfect prayer because it's from a perfect spirit the Holy Spirit in you he can pray through you and that is called praying in tongues it's amazing I want you to understand that the Holy Spirit is a gentleman. He is the most powerful being on earth, but he's also a gentleman. He is God and a gentleman. What does that mean? He will not push you ever into doing something. He will lead you. How on earth will he lead you? Is he going to appear in front of you like a white thing? No. Okay, listen to teacher now. It's very important. Some people talks about a still small voice or they will say something just told me to go open the door for the dog or someone or something just spoke to me it was like something told me to 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 phone my friend or my grandma that was the Holy Spirit so he's a still small voice but we call it we call it a knowing so the Holy Spirit, when He communicates to you, He's not going to shout at you. He's not going to send you a WhatsApp or give you a phone call. He's going to speak in your spirit. Why? Because He's a spirit. He's the Spirit of God. God is the Father of spirits, says the Bible. So, this is excellent in communication. He's always with you. He will even share things with you that no one else knows no one else and a very cool thing about the Holy Spirit is that he is the power in you do you know how mighty God is he created the universe he has power power like nothing else I mean if you think of power the biggest power in the whole universe is God and his spirit is the Holy Spirit and he lives in you so dear friend, if you want to change anything in this world, you can do it because you have the Holy Spirit inside of you, if you receive Him. So I can't think of a reason why someone will not want the Holy Spirit. Listen to me. The Holy Spirit is not going to force Himself on you. Never. He will not do it. So if you want to receive the Holy Spirit, you're going to have to do it. You're going to have to receive Him yourself and it's very easy. And then 
if you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can pray in tongues. Praying in tongues is going to change your life forever because there's no situation on earth that you cannot change. But you have to change it through the Spirit. Praying in tongues is in the Spirit. Right. When you, and when you want to pray in tongues, you're not going to listen to teacher. You're not going to stand there. No, 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 no. You're going to have to work with the Holy Spirit. But he won't embarrass you. He will never embarrass you. The tongues aren't going to burst out of you. You're going to say, you're going to just do the prayer after me, which you're going to do now. But then, if you want to pray in tongues, you're going to say, thank you, Father God, that I can pray in tongues. And then, from your spirit, words are going to come. Perfect words. Why is it perfect? Because it's from the Holy Spirit. So that's so amazing. Your, your prayer, if you pray in tongues, can never be wrong because it's the Holy Spirit that gives you the words. So you don't have to worry about that. It's perfect. It's perfect. Okay? So calm down. Then, if you walk in the street and you want to pray in tongues, you can pray in tongues. If you ride on your bicycle, you can pray in tongues. If you want to, if you sit in the bath, you can pray in tongues if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. The Holy Spirit is not going to squeeze you and out comes the tongues. No, it's not going to embarrass you. Never. So it's by choice. Everything is it's by choice. It's in your control. Praying in tongues is in your control, okay? But the Holy Spirit gives you the words. So please, feel welcome to pray now after Teacher Tina. And then you can receive the Holy Spirit, okay? I'm just going to do the born again prayer as well. If maybe there's a friend watching and they are not yet born again. So we're going to do two prayers. Please close your eyes. Thank you, Papa God, that you love me so much. You sent Jesus to die for me. I believe that Jesus is alive. I make Jesus the Lord of my life. He is my boss and I am born again. In Jesus name, Amen. Awesome! Now you are ready to receive the Holy Spirit. So let's just dive into the next prayer. You can repeat it also after me. Thank you, Father God, for the Holy Spirit. I receive the Holy Spirit now. And with the Holy Spirit, I receive the ability to pray in tongues. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, friends, now you can just pray after teacher Tina. But your, your tongues will sound different than mine. And just enjoy it. Okay, just open your mouth. Oh Father God, we love you so much. Lord Jesus, you are our everything. Lord Jesus, you are my hero. I am blessed in everything. Hallelujah. Friends, enjoy this beautiful gift that God gave you. It is really something that you should treasure and use for the good of yourself, your family, and for the whole world. Remember, even if someone sits in Australia, if you have family in Australia or in Pakistan or in China, you pray for that, per for that person in the spirit by praying in tongues. And it's always perfect. I love you. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye.